Hi, Scorpio. I am here to do your love reading for October. And now this love reading can be about any kind of love. It can be about relationships, family. It could even be about yourself, okay? So let's get an overall energy for you. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Now let's get a card from the Spirit Animal Oracle. And this is a card that is supposed to be something that could potentially aid you during this month. And remember, only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay? Ah, oh, beautiful. Dove spirit, be peace. It is really, really a beautiful image and a beautiful meaning. Okay. And now this card could be a potential challenge. And do remember that, kind of like time, well, let me include time and these cards together, kind of like a river. So I have October on here, but that doesn't mean it's strictly October. It could start before, it could end after. So anytime you decide that you want to come and take a look, there might very well be something in here for you. And cards are kind of like that as well. I have them in different positions, but they can blend, merge, etc. Okay? <laughs> you have the king of air. Intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair minded. Public speaking, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships, or being emotionally unavailable. I can see where a few of these parts might apply. Um, the ones that I see mostly would be respected, receiving wise advice, remaining objective and fair-minded, communicate clearly, and the yeah, the challenge. And emotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable. So that could be a challenge. Alrighty. Now, let's get a card for the main focus. Whoa, this one flipped right out. Alright. This is Yen, which means it's a very feminine, receptive energy okay it's like the opposite of the yang energy that is masculine and goes for it this is more internal okay so let's take some cards but before we do that let's quickly go over this just a little do something for someone give your attention to another which, like I said, I think is absolutely beautiful. And as people, we need that. We need to be able to do something for someone. We also need someone to do something for us. It's a mutual thing. So this is a beautiful energy. The dove spirit be peace. And I can see how these two tie in very well together. Let peace guide you in this. And now here, yeah, I do see that this could potentially be a challenge. But we'll have to get more cards to see. It might not be. That king might just sit on his throne and, you know, sit back. <laughs> and the focus is on being receptive, using your feminine energy. Okay? So let's see what we get. Ah, 
five of swords. Okay. I think the king comes out to play. This is where you've had a disagreement, an argument, um, feeling, you see how they're looking back at this person. You can tell this person's feeling bad. This person could potentially be feeling bad too, but they're taking a sword. Okay. So that in itself makes it a negative, potentially negative energy. You have been engaged in a win-lose conflict. Trust has been broken. And you feel like you're acting in competition instead of in collaboration with others. Look for common ground if possible. Okay? So yeah, definitely the challenge. And this yin energy is receptive. So that might say, do try to forgive. But you know, some things it doesn't work out. And if it doesn't, you just go on your merry way. Let's see what else we get. Beautiful. Okay, here is the Six of Cups. And to me, I can see this totally relating to your overall energy. This is a very nostalgic energy. And you can see here where this person is giving this person a cup. They are sharing. They're doing something for someone. So they're exactly paralleling this energy. Now this takes place inside of a community. So I think there's potential for community involvement. But that's not the focus here. The focus is do something for someone. Give your attention to another. That's exactly what's happening here. And you know, since this is here, here, exactly, you know, opposite each other, it is possible that this happened and you are trying to be forgiving and share. It might not be, they might not be related, but that could very well be. Okay, let's get a, another card. Justice. Okay. And interestingly enough, justice is falling right below the Five of Swords. So what justice typically says is something has happened to you. If you have been wronged, justice is here to make it right. Okay. And I think it would depend on what exactly happened. And that is something I don't know because it's, you know, a general reading. You would know. But we all know the consequences for our actions. So, justice will be stepping in to make things right. But I think this dove spirit, be peace, is saying also try to be a peacemaker. You know, I don't know what would have happened. And it looks like you were the one who was wronged. And it takes a strong person to be a peacemaker, especially if you've been the one who was wronged. Okay. Take one more card here. The tower. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's refer back to this. Respect stoic, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded. Communicate clearly and emotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable. You know, everything goes back to this. You might need to take a clarifying card for that one, okay? 
Let's go ahead and do that. To see if we can gain any enlightenment on it. Oh my, well, guess what just jumped out? The devil did. Peachy. Okay, what that is talking about is there are energies that do not serve you. Okay, it could be thoughts, things, addictions. There's a whole list of things that are not in your best interest. And what this is saying is one of these, again, you would know or will know, is going to cause a tower. Or potentially cause a tower. Remember, these are energies. If you change something, and you change just the right thing, it changes these. So there, you know, it's possible there wouldn't be a tower. But as it stands right now, there's something in your life that is not in your best interest. It is problematic, and it does not serve you. But on the good side, I guess, if you want to call it that, it is causing a tower. It's causing you to stop it. You are getting rid of this. But this is abrupt. And again, everything seems to be leading potentially back to this. This might not be. It might be something different. But regardless, something here is not in your best interest. It is a detriment to you. And it is being solved by a tower moment, okay? Let's get another card. And then we'll look at this a little bit more. The Emperor. Okay. The Emperor is an extremely strong energy. He's like if you take all the kings, including this one, roll them up into one, and then add some more. You get the Emperor. The Emperor is extremely good at creating strong foundations and structures from which your success will grow. And you do favor stability and certainty over flexibility and change. You have the discipline to see your plans through. So, okay, you have this tower moment because of something in your life that is not serving you. And it, over here on this side, you've been wronged and justice is coming in. These might be two different things. And it looks like the emperor is stepping in and saying, okay, enough. Done with this. Done with this. We need these firm foundations set. We need to establish the structure so you can have your happy life. So it looks to me like your challenge really came forward this month, or is coming forward this month, to give you a nice little test. Thank you so much, Mr. Challenge. And your job in this is to be the peacemaker, to be the dove spirit, to be love, to do something for someone, give your attention to another, and carry with you the yen energy, the receptive feminine energy. It is possible, no, I'd say it's definite. There's more than one thing going on here in the world of love for you this month because this is absolutely beautiful okay just beautiful energy so is this 
and then you have your challenge. Okay. There might be a problem with being too detached, not communicating clearly, um, something along those lines, which is or has created a problem that is not in your best interest, okay? But it is being solved with a tower, which is the hard way to solve a problem, but it's definitely probably one of the fastest ways to solve a problem. Over here, justice arrives to take care of this, but you also are taking care of this too in a loving, receptive way. So let's take a card from the Divine Doors and see what they would like to share. This looks like a little bit of a challenging month for you. I mean, there's beautiful parts, like the overall energy. Do something for someone. And maybe this doing something for someone is a little harder than it appears in that image. Because it looks like doing something for someone might be doing something for someone who has done something wrong to you. So that makes it a little bit of a challenge. And two came out. The first one is birth. Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings for you. Okay, that fits right in here on this tower and this devil energy, okay? Which is wonderful because it talks about the new life is unfolding with blessings for you. And then the other card that popped out is Divine Guardian. Do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Okay, so I think this is beautiful too. And I do think it helps explain. Beautiful energy that you have. Beautiful help. A beautiful part of this. The challenge definitely is coming forward. You are taking on this wonderful receptive energy and being the peace and doing something nice for people or someone. You are sharing and caring. But the challenge comes in. But, you know, even though it is a challenge and it has an energy that is not good for you, which creates a tower, but look what comes out of it. A new life is unfolding with blessings for you. So out of this negative comes a wonderful positive. And here, this energy is being solved by justice, but I keep having this feeling that you are also stepping in with peace, you know, trying to create peace. And this divine guardian, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. And I'm thinking that this emperor is here to see that this happens. So while there are challenges here, it looks like it's a beautiful ending because of these and because you maintain and hold on to your beautiful, loving energy. Okay, let's get a charm. And I never look. And if the universe is going to tease me, this is where they do it. Oh, I don't think they're being... I'm not, I'm not getting teased this time. Expect miracles. Do expect miracles. Miracles are actually a normal part of life. You just don't realize that. Okay, have a beautiful month. Much love. Bye.